Hey Paris, how you doing? All right, I've got your work up here. And I'm just going to reduce this a little bit so we can fit everything in the window. And that looks just about perfect. Okay, so these are some really great ideas. I love some of these. I think this is just a home run, this one right here, this this laundry bin for a basketball. And the reason I say that is because I'm thinking about I'm thinking about setting up the scenario, okay, setting up the narrative. And, and one of the things I'm going to do here, and if you go ahead and take a look at um, the other videos that are posted before yours, and be sure you take a look at a bunch of the videos this week for this particular assignment, for the critique for this, for your sketches, because really one of the things I really want you to think about moving forward and in uh, uh, just trying to decide which direction you would like to pursue, of course, you pursue the direction that you think has the most potential, right? But some of the things you want to think about determining that potential is how can we uh, expeditiously set up the narrative? So in other words, you know, narrative is, it's a narrative story, right? So we know narratives typically have a beginning or uh, an introduction to the problem or the conflict, so to speak, and then a uh, resolution where we can implement the solution, the aha moment where we're kind of reaching the apex and then implementation of the solution. And then finally epilogue or the fin you know, final outcome. So, it, 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 and I, I'm thinking of really, really, dramatic way, the first four or five uh, frames of the narrative are very important because they're going to set up the problem. Okay, they're going to define the problem. For example, this is great. This guy's all wanting a kiss from his wife. And she's saying, no way, man, not with that beard, right? And of course, she's saying, cut the beard. So now she leaves him on his own. He comes up with this idea, tries that, doesn't work. Thinking some more, thinking some more. Comes up with this aha moment. Okay, I'm going to use a machete. So he gets that ready, shaves with it. And we have this epilogue or final outcome where all is well. Everyone's happy, right? Mr. Handsome without the beard, right? So now she's all ready to be kissing on him. So it's a really great setup. We can see another very good setup right here in this other uh, uh, example. And then there's these two black and white examples that I don't think they're as set up as effectively as the color examples. Nonetheless, take a look at them because you will be able to uh, generate some ideas therein. Okay, so looking at your sketches, I'm seeing, okay, laundry bin for, a, for garbage. It's certainly a great idea. Um, Laundry bin for potato sack race. That's great. Now, these are really good ideas, right? But uh, 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 Sandcastle, these are great. Um, now, I, I like this one because, and, and I'm just going to give you an example of this one. Okay, so I can see this. I would set this up thinking about, okay, how do we define the problem? So in my head, I'm seeing a couple of kids sitting around outside on a driveway with a basketball, and there's a basketball hoop behind them with a broken rim. Right. So they're just kind of puzzled and looking frustrated because and they're just kind of sitting around. And all of a sudden, one of them gets this idea, this aha moment. Right. And, uh, you know, they're done dribbling the ball. So this aha moment. So he runs inside and grabs a, a laundry and they climb up a ladder, hang it up there. And then they're shooting baskets at all as well. And that's just a kind of a brief synopsis of, of the setup. Right. But that's what I want you to think of. I want you to think of how you're going to set this up in a really interesting way. So in a lot of ways, this assignment is just as much concept development and the development of the linear narrative. It's just as much that as it, as it is development of, of the illustrative techniques. Right. So the first thing we want to do is decide on a really interesting and compelling way to tell the story. Right. And then you can start developing your sketches and start thinking about how you're going to uh, connect the, the linear narrative and what sort of configuration you're going to put them in, what shapes you're going to use, if any. OK, so um, that said, I would say pick out. The, the idea that you feel has the most potential. And what I want you to do is I want you to sit down, take a day, think about each one of these. Think about how can I set this up in a really interesting way. Then make your decision and we'll take it from there. All right, so great job, great start. Sketches are fantastic. We have a little bit of a roadmap in front of us, so we're set up for success, right? Okay, Paris, great job. Any questions at all, you know I'm right here. Okay, great, great job. Thank you so much.